Hey guys, back here with another tutorial. Um, we're still focusing on volumetric effects and fog. This time we're going to be using the V-Ray Aerial Perspective. So this is for exterior scenes, much larger scale scenes. So you wouldn't use this for interior um, shots, interior renders or anything. The reason why is Aerial Perspective is optimized for much larger more expansive environments so it gives you really good results as you can see here um, without the crazy render time so uh, without aerial perspective without aerial fog you see you have kind of an okay looking render the composition and everything looks great but to give it that depth that you know that it's lacking and um, you know the mood and environment appeal you know just make it more photographic and cinematic, it needs that aerial perspective fog. So you can see the difference between the two here. So what we're going to do, uh, currently this scene is rendered uh, to look like this, so no fog has been set up. So what I'm going to do is simply open up the render settings, and we're just going to jump to Override, use Environment Volume, and under Environment Volume, we're going to select the uh, dialog box, checkbox, and go to V-Ray, volumetric, and instead of V-Ray environment fog, you want to use V-Ray aerial perspective. So go ahead and add that, and then now you can see that we have some properties that, that we can add here and alter in the attribute editor. Uh, thing to keep in mind, right, so if I go ahead and just try to render this with the default settings, let's take a look at what happens. As you can see, it doesn't really look correct. The scale size dimensions of the aerial perspective fog is off. So what we need to do now is just really, I mean, we don't ha even have that many parameters to mess with here, because uh, it is based off of the V-Ray sun. So I did forget to mention that at the beginning, you do need to make sure to use this with uh, V-Ray sun here, okay? So with that being said, now we're going to go ahead and alter this, right? So we know that the in this scene, if I go ahead and type in some values, right? So this is 60,000 meters, which is massive. This scene that was created here, if I jump to um, perspective and we take a look, it is not nearly, you know, you know, that large, right? So if I take a look maybe and we'll do the same thing we did last time and create a cube. Okay, so we're going to create a tiny little cube. And if we go to the channel box editor, you can see now for like I'll maybe set this 500 and then width and depth. So we want to add, you know, let's start with about 10,000 meters, right? And keep in mind the preferences our settings here are centimeters okay but it's looking for meters in the aerial perspective settings so if i go back here you can see that aerial perspective distance meters right and it's 60,000 meters so if i want to create this cube just to help kind of visualize what we have i can do that here okay so i go ahead into this cube in the channel box editor and so I'll start with right I, I type in 10,000 but remember this is centimeters right so to make it meters right centimeters uh, I'll just add a couple more two more zeros and you can see that that this should more than encompass the uh, space that we're trying to render here. Actually, 10,000 is ju just about, so we'll start there, right? 10,000 meters. So now, if I jump back to this aerial perspective shot using this camera here, render side, and if I go back to my render settings, aerial perspective, and instead of 60,000, I'm going to give this, um, you know, 
10,000, okay? Now the height is the, the next most important one. Um, you know, so we're talking about 100 meters. You know, we're doing city skyline. This is set to about 6,000, which is really high. Um, let's just go ahead and render and see where we're at before we go any further. Okay, as you can see, we need to adjust the atmospheric height. So I'll go ahead and stop that. So now we're at least getting, right? So we went from this, which was way too far out, right? It brings the fog back in. So now we're getting that fog kind of in this immediate region here, which is great. And then now we need to adjust the height. I'd say like, let's just start at like 500. Okay, so we're gonna adjust the atmospheric height to be about 500 meters. But then this time, we're also gonna make sure to enable effect environment. With effect environment enabled, it's going to actually have the fog interact with the sky and affect the sky, which is exactly what we want. So now if I go ahead and render this, we start to get some good results. Okay. So that's looking a little bit better, right? So if we wanted to, we can, you know, lower this a little bit instead of, you know, 10,000, maybe make that about 9,000. Um, here for the atmospheric height, we can, you know, maybe half that, maybe make that uh, 250 meters in height. And then we can see that it starts, we can start seeing more of the background as we do that. So as you can see, by lowering these values, we can start to pick up more of the environment while also still keeping that nice fog effect. If you're interested in learning more, you can, of course, go to the V-Ray documentation. And again, there's not many settings, but you can see that the, how uh, lowering or increasing the distance will push back the fog, but you want to make sure that the fog still affects parts of the environment that are close to you. And then the atmospheric height, you can see how that affects the visibility. The higher that is uh, in meters, the thicker the fog. So you can see as I dropped it down from 500 to 250, made things a little bit more visible. Um, and then here you can see that it's with the environment effect, uh, effect environment rays, uh, what it does. Uh, and if you are interested in getting these scenes, these are all available on Chaos Group's website. Um, just make sure you need a login to access it. So. Uh, just make a login. They'll give you these scenes that are kind of great to kind of take a look at different lighting modes. So I can link that at the bottom. All right. I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.